Hey everyone, I guess I'm just gonna start off the vlog here. I did attempt to start the vlog off two days ago and then I don't know what direction that video was going. Anyways, hey, welcome back to another vlog. It's been a while. I am currently in Amsterdam. We just landed, I wanna say like two hours ago. Last couple of trips I took this year, I tried to vlog but didn't really post anything so i'm liking it all for this time around i'm gonna try to vlog as much as i can and actually share it with you guys Good afternoon everyone, coming to you live from Nairobi, Kenya. The last time you guys seen me, we were I think in Amsterdam, but I've been here two days. So I came Wednesday night, then Thursday, Friday, I just kind of chilled. We didn't really do anything. And then today's Saturday and we're actually trying to step out. Right now, it's actually Kenya's rainy season or whatever, which is weird because typically the rainy season happens earlier on from what I can remember. Sometime in August, July, and it's usually their cooler months but it seems like that got pushed to like October, November because since we literally came here, it's been pouring rain. I am so happy to be back. Alhamdulillah, it's been so long. I came with my sister. I don't know if I told you guys that, but she hasn't been in Kenya since she last left, which was back in 2012. So it's been over 11 years, but I have been coming back every now and then. The last time I've been here was uh, end of 2018. There's so many new developments. Kenya's like restaurant and cafe scene is insane lately. So if I'm thinking a lot has changed in the last uh, four years, uh, my sister is going to be completely like in for a total surprise. I don't know. Trying to figure out what to order. This looks really good. Just finished eating. And what did you think about the food? What was it? I ate all your food. What do you mean? Actually, she ate everything, yeah. What was your food? You got the slider. Oh, you didn't try mine. What was yours? The slider? Beef slider. What would you rate it? Yeah, I got the pasta arabiana. I would rate it, I would say 7.5. It was not bad. We ended up getting the Japanese pancakes to share. It wasn't exactly Japanese pancakes that we were expecting, but it was still soft. We were supposed to go to the giraffe center. On our way there, I literally look at the time. For some reason, something they just told me to look at the time. Only to find out that it was literally closing in six minutes and we were like 20 minutes away. I don't know why my timing was so off today, but we completely missed it. So, because we were in the area and my sister was like, yo, let's just go visit our old house and where we used to live because she hasn't seen it for over 11 years. For me, I have a lot of PTSD here. <laughs> just, you know, things that I just don't want to remember. But anyways, we're here and I'm literally standing in front of my old house and it's completely unrecognized like we sold it we ended up selling it and everything but looking at it right now I don't even recognize it let me show you guys there's trees covering it so I don't know if you guys can see it this is so bad what did they do here this is crazy it's so bad Oh wow, they really like completely changed us. I can't believe we're recording this. Basically, you can't see the house anymore. It's literally covered by all these trees and all of these trees weren't here when we were first living here. The bushes kind of grew out, but we didn't have, yeah, we didn't have this tree or it didn't look like that. It wasn't that big. We definitely didn't have this tree either, but the estate looks so different and oh my God, so many memories. I feel like the estate got smaller. I guess because we were so much younger, but that's the house right there literally this one right here that used to be my room and that used to be my parents room right across from our house so our house was yeah number 38 they completely changed it but i don't think you can see the number it used to be number 38 and then my girl maybe when used to live right here her house looks pretty much the same i wonder who the new owners are oh my god so much has changed like i barely recognize this place this is just a walk down memory lane my sister since just needed her closure so did you get your closure i mean you made us come all the way here how does everything look so small though i can't believe because marika joking when we were here we were bit we were small and i feel like right now the trees are covering everything i think it was empty this is the british kids this is where they lived the whole estate looks different and even the people that used to live 
live here. I don't think don't, don't live here anymore. I think it's been 11 years. Well, I, think that was on. I think most people moved out. If not out of the country, at least somewhere else. Yeah, because I feel like everybody, a lot of people that lived here were from like the West. People from the UK, America, us UK, being from people. Canada. A lot, of, a lot of British people. There were some locals and then wasn't there Australians? There was a lot of like kids from the West around here in this estate. In South Sea in general, because the area we lived in was South Sea. Anyways, we are going to be meeting up with my cousin and we have to go all the way to village market we are so far away and we're supposed to meet her up at 7 45 um and it's now 5 51 so we're gonna probably call an uber and head out coming an hour early so we're waiting for my cousin we are at trademark hotel in village market at the restaurant called hero it's a sushi restaurant i think my cousin shows anyways we're gonna be linking up with her so we're waiting for her but yeah that's pretty much it vibing out here Yesterday, basically, we just ended up staying at home. We didn't even go anywhere. It's currently like almost 4 p.m. right now, and we are headed to Italy. I'm kind of dreading, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a while, and I know how chaotic Italy is, but Italy is one of the most chaotic places in the city, but also where you can literally get everything. So if you know, you know. Especially us, like girls, like when it comes to like abayas, you know, batis, and like beauty stuff, and like whatever, anything you need, basically, you can always find it there. It actually looks really nice. I think I'll take it. It actually looks really flattering, I'm not gonna lie. Bring it up. The nose part. I like it. You like it? Yeah, this is the first time. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually really nice. I think I'll get it. to the giraffe center. I really hope we make it this time because I feel like we're also cutting it close. It's literally 3.38 and close at five. Our ride is here. Salma, Salma. Once you are done, you don't stay here. They tend to remind you you need to have the food. Once you finish, don't. Munira, don't do that. Munira, give him your hand, your palm. I don't want that. Munira, what the? How you doing? This is girl just spilling it on the floor. Pick it up and, and give it to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I said? So, you want me to do this? Yes, yeah. do that. I don't want that. You're doing it from the top. Yeah, but aren't you? Don't you feel. <laughs> he took the whole thing. We got to miss it. No, it keeps going for the bowl. <laughs> I actually fed them, but like I think the thing that was scaring me was like the tongue. <laughs> the texture of the tongue was just odd. My thing was like I was trying to feed them in a way where like I didn't actually touch the tongue. I kept dropping the pellets from like up top. Here's here's what she's no, doing. No, but in, demonstrate no, what but she's in doing. the end, this is the giraffe, right? This is the giraffe. It wants to eat. <laughs> she's dropping the food like this. No, but in the end, Allah had. As if it's gonna go. No, but Allah. I actually, you took the video on the phone, right? Yeah. In the end, I actually did like put the, put the pellets in their tongue twice. Yeah. So I did redeem myself. <laughs> she did, she did. We are at the KICC and we're going to the rooftop of this building here. It's about to close, so we gotta run in. So we are literally on top of the KICC. I wanted to come here during sunset. We tried, but couldn't make it. So we took the elevator all the way to the 27th floor. 
and then we had to climb some more stairs like four or five, five flights of stairs and then I thought we got lost because I completely forgot last time I was here was 2017 and then we went back down and then came back up I'm still catching my breath but the views I don't even think this camera is gonna do it justice I've never been here at night only been here during the day it was really beautiful but nighttime views are something else So we just got to CJ's. I miss this place so much. Okay, don't give yourself evil eyes, say mashallah. This girl's like... <laughs> Hi guys, we are back from KICC. You got the water? I have! You got to try the pizza. Well, you have the pizza, but like... I've never been to the restaurant. I'm not gonna lie to you. What does he even see in Jay stand for? I don't know. So now we're just chilling. And we're about to order. Oh, that looks good. Uh, and these others are literally staring. Like, you can't help it. It's like they're everywhere. Fish fingers. Chicken Tuscan pasta, I think. And then soon just ended up getting... Uh, quesadilla. I got a side of fries, but that's a whole lot of fries that's on the side. So, yikes. How's the quesadillas? I told you, CJ's is really good. This is so fire. Okay, everything is okay. See, this is actually passion fruit. Yesterday, what happened? The passion fruit had me. Yeah. Yesterday, they gave us just bird, they just gave us mojitos. It wasn't the passion food mojito. Happy Friday. It's currently 4 02 a.m. We just came here uh, to do some work. My sister had some work that she needed to get done, and I'm trying to actually edit this video for y'all. So I just got the vanilla latte, and then my sister got the mocha, right? It was the mocha you got, right? Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay, yeah, so we just came here to do some work. Hopefully, get something done, inshallah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Productive day or no? Anyways, um, they said, someone was explaining on uh, TikTok like before I left, there's a difference between traveling and vacationing, and which one do you mostly do? I think I've always been like traveling, but anyways, the point of the story is this time around, I really think I'm actually vacationing. The reason why I say that is because it's been really like alhamdulillah, like so calm. I've just been relaxing more, sleeping in more, and it's not even about even just sleeping in more because like I've been jet lagged obviously pretty badly, but I just feel so much more at ease. I haven't been like on the go, 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 go. I've really been just looking in everything. As soon as I left Toronto, I feel like everything kind of slowed down. I love that and I crave that and I need that. It's just been like a really like, alhamdulillah, very smooth, very calm, very relaxing week because we've only been here, I don't know, we've been here a little over a week right now. We're here for another week and then we'll be leaving on the 20th. I'll let you guys know, inshallah, when we get to our next de destination. I don't know if I'm going to continue vlogging for the remainder of the week. I really don't think there's much that I'm going to do. Like I said, I've just been kind of like kicking back and taking it easy. Uh, we've been like, we've kind of gone to a lot of places, explored a lot of restaurants. Yeah, I think I'm just going to kind of chill for the rest of the week. Probably pick up the camera if there's anything like relevant for me to share. If not, I'll see you guys on my next trip. Don't forget to subscribe.